Ni hao. Hey everyone, my name is Rap Shewin Wahai. I'm from Solomon Islands. I came from a very low class family where both parents did not have a permanent job to support my family. So far, I am the only one in the family that has a trained a good and high education. Today, I'll be talking about my life as a foreign medical student here in Taiwan. The journey I have taken has not been an easy course. There were huge challenges. There were hard times. There were times when I just wanted to give up and return home. At the same time, there were times of joy and gladness. And I tried to be optimistic about my life as a student. It had all started in year 2016 when I applied for my current program. Much to my delight, I was accepted to study medicine in Taiwan at Issa University School for International Students. The, the program is called Baccalaureate since those, those who have had their previous bachelor degree are eligible to apply. It is for his program, two years of theory and two years in the hospital for clinical rotation. The turn to become a doctor has been part of my life since primary school. I took a little turn in different directions a few years back to study marine science. But I was eventually given this chance, a second chance, to accomplish my goal to, to study medicine. Today, I'm so pleased to have been able to study medicine as I would now be capable of offering my assistance through the practice of medicine. Medical school can be a challenging for everyone with a high demand on time, the pressure of manating an ever-growing body of information and a need to constantly manage multiple responsibilities. Our first two years of medical school were a mixture of a classroom and a lab time. We took classes in the basic science, such as anatomy, biochemistry, microbiology, pathology, pharmacology, and we also learned the basics of interviewing and interaction with the patient. Our third and fourth years was spent in the hospital or the clinic where long hours were spent with the patients and the skills and the knowledge we have learned in the classroom were put to the test. As part of my study, my teachers would always emphasize on history taking as 70 to 80 percent of my diagnosis come from the interview and interaction with the patient. They would encourage me more on the patient physician communication as one of the important elements whereby a rapport is built between me and my patient and to gain patient trust and to be able to get all the relevant information. As a student, there have been challenges I have been through during my studies. I soon realized that as a Marine BA graduate, making a transition to PT medical career was not going to be an easy task. I remember in my introductions when the, with the medical profession that whenever doctors would ask me about my previous degree, I would always say for my previous degree, I learned how to speak with a fish. Now I'm learning how to speak with a human beings. I remember experiencing really tough time during my first week of lecture that made me uh, want to go home so bad. Uh, the medical terms used by the professors were quite new and I was finding, finding it hard or tough. Nevertheless, 
with many prayers and encouragement from my families. Things started to get better and I could move with much progress forward despite the challenges. I remember I would spend 80% of my time, study time, uh, just to get used to the medical terms. A second major challenge for me was during my second year when we learned about the human anatomy from the real human body. Human anatomy is not an easy subject as one would imagine and in order for me to qualify as a medical doctor I would have to know the whole human anatomy with their normal functions. My teachers always emphasize the importance of knowing the human anatomy with their normal physiology or normal functions and in that way it will be easier to differentiate between the abnormal functional organs and their structures. Another huge challenge for me was Mandarin speaking which has become one of my biggest obstacle of living here in Taiwan. I find it a bit hard to communicate with my patient, especially when it comes to history taking and visiting my patient every day. So most of the time I would have to rely on the residents and the nurses for translation between me and my patient. Living far from home as a foreigner is quite challenging to say the least. And this is especially tough when there are family issues back home. My first of these personal attacks started even before I left my country. My beloved father passed away a week prior to my coming. This definitely put a lot of pressure on me, especially throughout the beginning stage of my studies. I would occasionally want to just go home or return to my home country so that I could take care of my family. Up to this point, I had gone through challenge of the challenge in the last three years and I have managed to pull through. Little did I expect that I would be faced with the most severe one yet my major sponsor, ICDF. In September of this year, as I was embarking on what I thought was going to be my final year of medical school or medical studies, political tie between Taiwan and my country Solomon Islands were cut. I was informed that my funding would come to a halt by the end of January 2020. From then, my situation started to deteriorate quite fast and I was forced to make a major decision about my studies on what to do next. And everything was and is still so uncertain for me. My impression about my medical studies were basically learning new things every day, working with a team that comprises of specialist doctors and professors as well as interaction with patients that, that presented with different problems and complaints. All of this has motivated me to put more effort towards achieving my goal especially in saving lives. I have thoroughly been enjoying and loved all the department I had worked in. And because of this, I'm still taking my time to decide as to which specialty I would want to narrow my focus to in the future. From a more personal standpoint, I have been having my eye on becoming a specialist in gastroenterology, more specifically 
my reasons were firstly because my father died due to liver problem and secondly because alcohol related liver disease are on the rise in societies back in my country on, on Taiwan I really do like Taiwanese people it is beyond a doubt that they are amazing uh, helpful and really kind a major advantage here in Taiwan is that it is safe to travel even during the night in Italy Taiwanese food didn't seems to go well with my accustomed Pacific Island diet approach. I didn't really like the food very much. Fortunately, as time goes on, I started to adapt and it just becoming an ocean place to live. As everywhere you go, there are convenient shops, online markets and the food is easily accessible and the varieties are so many too apart from my academic life i am also involved in social and physical activities such as playing football with the university team the team comprises of international students from different countries combined with the local Taiwanese students. I loved uh, the experiences we have from our shared friendship, uh, our different beliefs and also values. All of these have contributed to all of my wonderful moments I have had throughout the duration of my study here in Taiwan. Here some of my recommendations for those who want to travel to Taiwan to study. I believe uh, it's great to know the basic Mandarin to be able to communicate well uh, with the locals, especially when traveling. For those who particularly want to uh, pursue a medical career, it is vital to know the common uh, Mandarin medical terms uh, in order to effectively communicate with your patient. Above all, Taiwan is a wonderful place to study and one of the countries or best country to travel to and to live in. Lastly, I would like to acknowledge my major sponsor ICDF for sponsoring my three and a half year of academic study here and also a word of thanks to all my great teachers Smith's office, educational department, Eda hospital and all my friends for the great support you have rendered towards my academic study here in Taiwan I love you all and I wish you all the very best in life hope to see you guys in the future. Sai Chin. Bye for now.